Hi Stampers, welcome to another Stamp with Amy K video. In this video I'm going to show you really quickly how to re-ink your ink pads. Um, and this is for the new firm, I shouldn't call them new, they've been around for a while, Firm Foam Ink Pads. Um, several of you I'm sure have re-inked your pads many times and had good success, but I do get a number of questions about how exactly you're supposed to do that. So I thought I'd put together a quick video for you. The first thing to make sure you double check is that you have the same color ink pad as you have on your ink refill um, so you don't have a little re-inking disaster and I've got both soft sky ink pad and a soft sky ink refill. I'm going to go ahead and open up the ink pad and get it ready to go. Open up my ink refill and I'm going to use a zigzag kind of motion across the ink pad with my ink. Turn it and do another zigzag across the other way. And you'll see it looks kind of blotchy that way, don't panic, um, that's actually how it's supposed to work. Then I find the method that works the best for me is taking an old gift card or an old credit card. They have a nice smooth edge, rounded corners, and using it almost um, like you're going to frost a cake with it basically. And take it and massage the ink down into the ink pad. And then you're going to turn it, massage it again, keep turning it, and rubbing it right down in, turn it again rub it in and basically you're just distributing that ink nice and evenly throughout the ink pad so your ink pad should be all ready to go at that point um, another method I've seen for re-inking ink pads um, to distribute the ink is to use a plastic spoon um, the rounded edge of the back of the plastic spoon and again it's a similar thing you're just going to take it as though you're frosting a cake and just massage the ink down in and keep working it and keep turning it and massaging your ink down in and again, your ink pad should be all ready to go and ready to be used. The last method that I have seen some people use is to take their bone folders and go ahead and do the same thing, basically just exactly like you did with a spoon, and you're going to use it and rub it across as though or a knife, just like you were frosting a cake. I don't tend to use this method because it does stain your bone folder. It doesn't cause any damage to it or anything like that. I just personally don't like the way that it looks, so I don't tend to use my bone folders. Um, as you can see, the ink does stain them, and again, nothing wrong with that. I just don't personally like the way it looks, and I've had really good success using the uh, method with a credit card or a gift card, so that is what I have tended to stick to with as far as um, re-inking my ink pens. So I hope that you found that helpful, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Stop by my blog at www.stampwithamyk.com for more Stampin' Up! project ideas. Thanks for watching and have a good day.